Hey everyone, Brian Manning again with another payments related tutorial on creating invoices. And today I'm gonna to show you how to get some free invoice templates, this time from Google Docs. I'm gonna show you how to find this template and this one and save it to your Google account so you can use it as your own template. Plus I'm gonna show you how to add a payment link button and give you some cell references that are helpful for really anyone who's using Google Sheets. So I'll link to the templates that I go over in this video in the video description below. And finally, I'm gonna also show you how to customize these templates and publish or save them so you can send them out to your clients and customers based on what's right for you. So you'll start off by opening a new browser and just searching for Google Docs invoice template. It'll bring up a search result that should be something similar to this, but it's simply docs.google.com slash templates. And it'll open up uh, an interface that'll look like this. And if this comes up for you, this is actually the old template library. And you can see right here that Google gives you a notification that this is going away soon. So if this shows up, you can use these templates just by clicking on the use this template button. And you can also preview them if you'd like. You can click on these and store them to your Google Drive. And I'll show you how to do that in just a second. But all of these templates are available in the marketplace for you. And that way, you know, you can modify them and change them as you'd like. And again, I'll show you how to do that in just a second. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into the Sheets tab and just click on this button here. And it'll open up this new template library. And then you can scroll right down here and you'll see an invoice option and just click right here. And it's going to open up a, a standard template invoice that you can take and use. And so what I've done is I've already downloaded this and added it to my Google Drive. In order to make best use of these templates, you're going to want to have a Gmail account. And of course, it's free to sign up. So just sign up for a Gmail account if you don't have one yet. And what you'll do is just click on this icon right here and go to Drive. It'll open up your Drive folder and everybody gets one of these by default with a free Gmail account. And this is where all of your documents are stored. So this is the standard template. It it, this is the off-the-shelf version, and I have downloaded this template already and made some modifications to it, and so I'll pull that up here right now and just show you how to change this around and customize it the way that you want to have it. So this template has automatically removed the, the cell guidelines from the background, and if you want those to show up while you're changing the layout, you can highlight everything and come up to the View tab and click the grid lines and you'll notice that they show back up. So if you want to move, you know, move some cell references around or, or move some of the items around, you can do that. So a lot of the fields here are pretty self-explanatory and you just need to come in and customize them and you can put your customer's name, invoice number, project name, and the due date. Obviously you can invoice to the person right here and I've already filled my name in and then submitted on date. Again, very, very uh, simple and straightforward. So if you wanna add your logo, you just click in the cell reference here, click insert, and then the image folder will come up. You can pull in your logo, it'll upload and add it to the document. Okay, then you can click on it and hover over and hold and click and, and resize this as, as you see fit. So I'll just leave it right there. And maybe I'll make this a little bit smaller here. Okay, so I got my logo on there. I'll, I'll fill out my, my information right here. You, you can customize it obviously as you see fit. And then we'll come down and add some references here. So by default, they got some pre-populated fields in here. And let's just say you have consulting services and you have a website project. Okay, you can change the quantities. Let's change them to one each. And then unit price, we'll just adjust those. Then we're gonna add a cell reference and we want this to total so that the quantity and the unit price add up correctly. And if I hover in this cell and I look at the product, I look at the cell reference right here, um, it is adding this these two fields, the unit price and the quantity automatically. So if I change this to two, you'll notice that it populates to $1,000 and it also changes the, the grand total down here at the bottom. So you can configure that however you'd like. 
And if you're not using these other fields, you can just zero them out or delete them completely. The adjustments tab, you can rename if you want, if, if you have shipping and handling or just an other column, I'll just label it as an other field. And we're not gonna use that for this example. So I'm just gonna zero it out and leave it blank. So we have our totals here, uh, a, a thousand plus hundred and it's totaling at 1100 right here. So that's how you modify this. If, if I go back to the original template, you can see that there's nothing in here but just a notes section. So in my template, I've added a couple of references here that I'm gonna go over with you. So because this is a spreadsheet, it accepts cell references. And what I have here are a couple of images that are clickable. And if I hover over this button, the pay now button, and come up here, you can see the cell reference that is held within that cell. So it is a hyperlink. And what this is doing is it's image, it's any image that's inserted into this cell and you can change it to make it whatever you would like. The image location is right here. Now in this template, which again, I'll make available to you, you can use this pay now button if you would like. The hyperlink, which is the link location is right here. So obviously you can change that out to whatever you'd like. So that's the pay now button. And this Google icon works exactly the same way. And these references are available out there online through the Google resources. So it's where I got them. So I just wanted to show you that these are two images that have the same reference, but obviously it's displaying two different images. And I'm gonna leave them there for right now, but when I go to save this before it would be sent out to a client or customer, I'm gonna delete one of these buttons and just use one of them. The third option is a simple link text. The easiest way to do the link is just to click on an open cell and then come right up here to the link option and click on it and it's gonna display a link and a text. So if I wanted to type in this example to pay this invoice, click here, then I can just click right here and type in the hyperlink of, of where I wanna send somebody uh, to pay this invoice. And click apply. This is now a clickable link and you can see it pops, pops up when you hover over this. This is just a text field, so now you can adjust it. You can, If you wanna increase the font, you can. If you wanna make it bold or italics or change the color, the background color, you can customize it to whatever you would like. So let's assume we have our invoice configured the way that we want it to be. The last thing that I'm gonna do before I save this or publish it is to get rid of these grid lines. Again, by just going to view and grid lines and unchecking and then all of that goes away. Okay, so before I download this, I'm gonna delete out these buttons. So I'm only giving my customer one option and I'm just gonna type in here uh, to pay this invoice, click here and I'll leave everything else. And I'm just gonna leave that link right there. You, you get how it's a hyperlink. So we'll go to file, download and PDF. And what it's gonna do is uh, I'll click export here and it's gonna save it to my hard drive and I'm gonna click on this and it brings it up in PDF format. So on a side-by-side -side here, you can see that this is the Google Sheets version and this is the PDF version. And if I come down here with my mouse and I hover over to pay this invoice, click here. If I click on it, it's gonna bring up a new web browser and it's gonna bring up my hosted payment page service, which in this case is simply pay.me. So that's the simple process of saving to PDF. Then obviously you can just attach that to your email. You can send it off. Your customer can open the PDF. They can click on the payment link and they can get the invoice paid. So another option to publish this is to come up to file and click publish to the web. These options give you the ability to publish this doc document and make it open, make it available to everyone or anybody who has the link. You may or may not use that. Uh, I don't personally use that option, but it is available to you. The last option that I'll go over with you is that you can simply save this to your drive folder, your Google drive folder. So if I wanted to just drag one of these in from my windows browser, copy it here, it shows up and there's, and I, if I double click on it, you can see that it pulls this, uh, this invoice up with the clickable link. Now with Google docs, the way that it works is that it, you can right click on this and you can get a shareable link 
and you make sure to turn it on if it doesn't automatically turn on. And you can click on this, copy it to your clipboard, and then you can email this link out. And if I just open another browser and paste and I enter, you can see that this invoice comes right up. So again, you could email that simple link out to your customer or your client. They can come down here, click on the, uh, the link, and then it opens up that payment page. So there's a couple different options. There's basically three different options that you can use. And obviously once you get the, the template stored or, or configured the way that you want it for your company, you can save the template, come into your Google Drive and just s store these. And then obviously you can come down and uh, remove them or change them or simply rename them specific to the customer, the client or the invoice number that you're using. So here's the second version and this is a recreation of an Excel template that I've used in other videos and I'll link up to that video in the description if you'd prefer to use uh, Excel or you'd like to use Excel in addition to Google Docs. Everything works the exact same way. You can customize and modify this the way that you would like. Uh, it's got the same links right down here. So again, if you wanna delete these buttons, uh, you just click in the cell, click delete, and they'll go away. And then you can leave it with with just the text-based link, which I do think is the easiest option. And it's also probably the most reliable option when it comes to inserting images and attaching hyperlinks. So again, you just click in an open cell and click on that link option and it brings right up for you. So you can link to any web-based payment service uh, or any payment link that your customers can use to, to make the payment and settle up on this invoice. All the other fields you can just customize with your information and the customer's information. And then the cell references work exactly the same way. So this template has a few more options with regard to quantity, unit. This is a code that can be specific to an item number. Or if you're not going to use it, you can just completely delete it. The unit price is a standard field. And then this totals column, again, is going to reference by typing equals unit price and then hit the asterisk for star, and then come over and click on the quantity so that it multiplies the unit price times the number of, uh, times the quantity. So if I change this to five, you'll see that this number changes. Now with this template, this reference right up here at the top, if I click in here, you can see that this is simply referencing cell G40, which is our totals column down here. So it's just a design element. All this does is it, takes whatever total is listed down at the bottom of the invoice and it makes it exactly the same. So if you'll notice, if I click in here and just change this to 2000, for example, or I guess I should change the unit price. You can see that uh, now I deleted that cell reference, so I'll have to add that back in or I can just click and drag down and then that cell reference will be in there. If I change this to 5000, it's updating as I add new numbers or new fields. So those are the two templates. Again, I'll link up to both of these. This one again is available on the Google Marketplace so you can download this one for free. This one is customized from Excel template so I'll give you the link to it. You can click on the link and then you can download it and save it to your drive. So again, when you get that, that link that I, I just showed you, you can just save it to your drive and you do so by just clicking on file and there will be an option here that'll say add to drive. Now this one's already in my drive, so I'm not getting that, but it'll give you that ability to save it and then it'll just show up right here. So that's how to configure both invoice templates with Google Sheets. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe, give it a thumbs up and leave a comment with a question. Again, the references in this video are all linked in the description. I publish weekly tutorial style videos on the topics of making the process of collecting payments simple and efficient. Topics include merchant accounts, payment page builders, software tools, and workflows that tie them all together. Until next time, I'm Brian Manning and I'll see you soon.